guys, Larissa with Bicosi.net is here. Today I would like to show you how to knit this uh, beautiful chunky Chanel hat uh, with pom-pom. Uh, I posted a picture uh, on Bicosi.net uh, Giant Knitting Club and uh, on Facebook and uh, people really like this hat and they asked me to show how to make it so here is uh, how it looks and we also have uh, this is a white one so uh, today I will show you how to make a hat with chunky Chanel yarn that you can buy at Bicosi.net we have 24 colors available and uh, at least half of them are now 50% 50, 50 uh, on sale. They are $7 a skein, that's just a bargain price. Uh, go to becauseit.net if you, you want to get some. So uh, I will be showing you how to make uh, this hat with a pom-pom made from Mirina wool, like this guy. And I will also uh, show you how to make this very simple it's uh, not even like a pompon, it's just a little something that you can attach uh, to a hat uh, on the top of it if you don't or want to make or if you don't have merino wool to make one. Or actually you can use just any other yarn to make a pompon, uh, but not Chanel yarn. Chanel yarn is uh, a little bit fragile on the bottom, uh, on the ends. So anyway, uh, Let's get uh, started and make this beautiful hat. It will be extremely soft and nice, and you can make it for yourself or your loved one and a Christmas gift too. Let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started. As usually we will start with uh, Chanel yarn making a small knot, just a simple knot like that, and then try to make it tight and then take scissors and cut the tail. Making a knot is very important. It's actually essential because it will prevent the uh, yarn from unraveling, especially if later you will be or when you will be washing it. So now we'll start as usual. Uh, tail is on the left, working yarn is on the right. Make a loop. Insert your hand inside the loop, grab working yarn and pull it out. This is our first stitch. And we will keep it about two inches big. Now, insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out, and this is your second stitch. So by doing it, we are making a chain similar to if you have ever crocheted before. Uh, it's like crocheting. So you insert into your hand either left or right. I'm usually using my right one. Grabbing working yarn and pull it out. Making chain this way is really, really easy. Now you can see we have this chain of 12 stitches. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, actually it's 11. So 12 stitches. Now we will connect this chain into a circle. So place it into a circle like that. And now the tail goes inside. Now you're skipping this stitch and you start knitting with this one. Now grab uh, this working yarn and push it, pull it, uh, place it here on the left. And now we will be using stitches on the top. This stitch is not in the middle, this top stitches. So you will insert your hand or fingers inside this first stitch, grab working yarn and pull it out like that. And you can see that we connected the chain. Cool technique. So now 
we uh, approach this last stitch make sure that the stitch is laying like that not twisting like this and we are knitting it so now when we knitted all 12 stitches now find this tail that was hanging inside and what we will do we will connect this two nicely so this tail goes inside this last stitch and out like that you see that we connected it nicely and then later when the hat is done we will weave in this tail inside the hat but for now we will keep knitting around We just done second row because this is the tail and this tail is here we're keeping it here for a reason because it shows us what row we're making so we made two rows and what we're making we're doing now we are connecting these two guys together like that and then we will keep knitting only this uh, time we will not be knitting basically on a circle we will be knitting two sides of the circle so guys we will need to uh, we will need to knit this way for eight rows okay so eight rows will give you a normal size head uh, similar to the one that you saw in the picture uh, at the beginning of video or the one that i showed you at the beginning of video if you want your hat a little bit longer that it would be hanging on the back of your head then you can make couple extra or long extra but this is the hat with eight uh, rows and to count rows uh, very easy to uh, when we see that uh, tail so here's our tail and from this tail we are counting rows one two three four five six seven so and because this is beginning so we're walking around so this will be our last row uh, if you're making it a child head you will need five or six rows guys because that will be a child's head so here we are we have eight rows this is the tail uh, this tail showing that we are done and now we will uh, finish this head so this is your last stitch and working yarn hanging here grab a tail and insert it in the next stitch to the left see this is our last stitch insert it here in the last stitch one make sure make sure to insert the yarn into next one that you already inserted okay and why we're doing it we're doing it because this way the top of the head will look really nicely so what are we doing now we're now pulling pull gently not to break the yarn and then you will see the top of the head looking round and nice like that so this is the top of our head see this beautiful flower like uh, top so now we will cut this tail a little bit uh, longer than 10 inches to get rid of long tail make a knot on the end make sure to always always make a knot on end of uh, all of your chunky chanel yarn and then cut it close to the uh, knot 
okay so now insert this tail inside the head inside this hole and now this tail is inside of the head okay so you can see that it's in the middle so we will keep it for now here because we will use this tail to attach our pom-pom hey okay, guys before we will attach the pom-pom let's finish the bottom of the head you need to insert it in the previous stitch and the stitch above so this two and you are inserting it on the top like this so see now it's similar to all the other stitches now go inside and what we will do we will attach this tail to any of the stitches inside so i'm usually just making a knot attaching it to the closest uh, stitch and then just weave it in uh, chanel yarn is very fluffy so see it will be very uh, basically invisible very nicely weave in so now i will show you how to attach the pom-pom as i mentioned couple options you can actually use a piece of chanel to make a pom-pom and i will show you how so this uh, piece is about probably 30 40 inches so you're taking this end and roll it around your three fingers like that now find the tail and insert one tail inside this way and make a knot so this one depending how much yarn you have this might be your pom-pom so then you would insert these two tails inside the hole and remember we kept this working yarn so then we can tight these three guys together these two pieces around that third working yarn and then cut it off so this way guys that's what we will have on the top of our hat so guys we're taking this leftover of merino wool uh, chunky chanel yarn cannot be used for these purposes because it's very fragile on the ends okay so what you're doing here don't need any uh, tools you just need your hand grab it and then roll it around your palm four five six times the most okay so here we go we did it five times now we will cut the tail so that's what we'll have in our hands so now we are putting a thread in the middle and making a knot like this then i'm flipping it over and making another knot very very strong okay and then to secure make one knot on the top of it there you go that's what you have now so now we will use our sharp scissors and cut all of this connection of merino wool have this weird looking uh, piece of merino wool we will shake it and then we will try to spread it out 
like that with your hands. Now we will be actually forming our pompon. You will need really nice and uh, very sharp, sharp scissors to do it because some parts are really, really long and some are much shorter. This is our pom-pom guys. Isn't it nice? It's so simple and you just need a little piece of merino wool. So now we're taking our hat, we're taking our pom-pom and that string that we have, insert it inside the uh, hole in the middle and insert it like that. See? So now we have it inside and we have this tail. So now we are making a knot with two guys together. And our beautiful hat with a merino wool pompon is ready. Isn't it cute? So those uh, parts in the middle, you can cut the strings off and this tail you can just weave in in between stitches inside again uh, Mary, uh, Marina. Uh, chunky chanel is very fluffy so it will not be noted so so here you go guys we're done with our beautiful head you can buy uh, Marina wool for your uh, Pompon or Chanel Yarn at Bicosi.net. Stay warm and Bicosi.